General Sherman was leaving Atlanta, 1865. After he burned it down, he was going out of I-20. <laughs> he gets on the Stone Mountain Freeway. He gets just outside of Stone Mountain, got 125,000 Yankee soldiers behind him. They're going by Stone Mountain, suddenly they hear a voice. And they look up on top of Stone Mountain, there's one lone Confederate soldier standing on top of Stone Mountain, got his saber drawn. And he's talking real nasty to him, <laughs> saying ugly things to the Yankees. And General Sherman calls a halt to his crowd, and he said, listen, we got to get this guy off here. It's bad public relations for us. <laughs> Hell, we got CBS News with us, <laughs> USA Today. Said, who's the toughest man in the outfit? They said, a fellow named Swartz from Minnesota is the toughest man we got. He said, send Swartz up there, get that Confederate off of there. Swartz goes to the top of Stone Mountain. He ain't there five minutes, he comes flying off the mountain. Hits and splats right in front of General Sherman. General Sherman said, send 10 men up there. And they send 10 Union soldiers to the top of Stone Mountain. Not a one lives to tell the story. General Sherman said, this is terrible, so we got to do something about this. He said, find the 150 finest men we got in this company and send them up there to get that rebel off the top of that mountain. The 150 Union soldiers go to the top of Stone Mountain. Only one lives to tell the story. And he comes back off Stone Mountain, and he's bleeding from every portal of his body. Don't look good at all. And he walks up to General Sherman. General Sherman said, son, what's the story up there? And the soldier said, it's a trick, General Sherman. There's two of them. <laughs>